hopping and dancing along the path, there appeared above the reeds an old battered hat with a tall crown and a long blue feather stuck in the band. With another hop and a bound, there came into view a man. Or so it seemed. He was far too large and heavy for a hobbit, if not quite tall enough for one of the big people. In his hand, he carried on a large leaf as on a tray a small pile of white water lilies. Oh, 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 Help! Help! Please help, help. Oh, help oh, us! There. Now, my little fellows, where be you are going to puffin' like a bellows? I'm Tom Bombadil. Tell me, what's your trouble? Tom's in a hurry now, don't you crush my lilies? My, my friends are caught in the willow tree. Master what? Mary's being squeezed in a crack. Oh, yes, oh, help. Old man Willow, not worse than that. I know the tune for him, old grey willow man. I'll freeze his marrow coal and I'll sing his roots off. I'll just put my mouth to the crack. Now, you let him out again, old man Willow. What you be thinking of, you shouldn't be waking. Eat earth, dig deep, drink water, go to sleep. Bombadil's talking. Bombadil, there now, pull, pull, pull. Ah, there, there now, quick, quick, quick. Yes, jump out, jump out. I can get out. <laughs> You shall come home with me. Oh, you shall come you. home with me. Thank you. The thank table, you. Yes, the table's all laden with yellow cream and honeycomb and white bread and butter. Oh, Gold that is good. waiting for my lilies. Now you follow me as quick as you're able. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey, come, Daddy Bombadil, Daddy Bombadil, old Tom Bombadil, what will you bring? Bring something home again. Hey, <laughs> My pretty lady, here's my cold berry. I see yellow cream and honeycomb and white bread and green herbs with ripe berries gathered. Is that enough for us? Is supper ready? It is. But the guests perhaps are not. Oh, 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 Tom, Tom, your guests are tired and you had near forgotten. Come now, my merry friends, and Tom will refresh you. You shall clean grimy hands and wash weary faces. Cast off your muddy cloaks. And comb out your tangles, then eat and drink long and merrily. Afterwards, we'll sing together. Come. <laughs> Did you? Hear me calling, Master, or was it chance? What? Did I hear you calling? Nay, I didn't hear. I was busy singing. We heard news of you, and uh, I was waiting. Uh, we guessed you'd come ere long down to the water. All paths lead that way, down to the Withy Windle. Old Grey Willow Man, he's a mighty singer, and it's hard for little folk to escape his cunning mazes. Ah, well, I had an errand there, gathering water lilies to please my pretty lady. By that pool, long ago, I found the river daughter, and her heart was beating, and that proved well for you. For now I shall no longer go deep again along the forest water. <sighs> Tell us, Master, about the Willow Man. No, don't. Not till morning, please. Oh, that's right. Now's the time for resting. Fear no grey willows. Come, here are candles. Now to bed. <laughs> Mrs. Goldberry's washing day and her autumn cleaning. Too wet for hobbit folk. Let them rest while they're able. It's a good day for long tales and questions and answers. Like the great willow with his rotten heart, though his strength is green, and his song and thought run through the woods on both sides of the river, and of barrow whites who walk in the hollow places of the great barrow hills. Ooh. They have the clink of rings on cold fingers which once fought in the battles of kings, of little kingdoms, when the young sun shone like fire on the red metal of their new and greedy swords. Mm. Gold was piled on the biers of the dead kings and queens. Mounds covered them, and the stone doors shut 
and the grass grew over all. Sheep walked for a while, biting the grass, but soon the hills were empty again. Oh, and then? Oh, yes, keep on with your tales. Oh, oh, oh well, my heart is a, a shadow. A shadow came out of dark places far away. And the bones were stirred in the mounds, and so the barrow whites walked in the mists, and the stone rings of the ancient towers grinned out of the ground like, like broken teeth in the moonlight. <laughs> ah, then there are the elves, the elves, and the times long ago I remember when, when the elf sires were awake. Oh yes, that was when the world was wider and the seas flowed straight to the western shore. I remember then. Who, who are you, master? What? Well, what? Who am I? Don't you know my name yet? That's the only answer. Tom was here before the river and the trees. Tom remembers the first raindrop and the first acorn. He made paths before the big people and saw the little people arriving. He was here before the kings and the graves and the barrow whites. When the elves passed westward, Tom was already there. He knew the dark under the stars when it was fearless. Before the Dark Lord came from the outside. Oh, dear. The rain has ended, and new waters are running downhill under the stars. Let us now laugh and be glad. Yes, and let's <laughs> have food and drink. Long tales are thirsty. Oh, I'm <laughs> Well, now, Frodo. Frodo, show me the precious ring. The, my ring? Yes, yes. Yes, of course. Here, here, take it. <laughs> Let's peep through it. Oh, 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 and now on my finger. Oh, no, oh, no. But, but he hasn't disappeared. <laughs> it has no effect on him. Up into the air. Oh, there. It vanished. What have you done? <laughs> Here it is, here it is, safe and sound. Oh, are, you, are you sure it's the same ring? Here, let me try it. Frodo, are you... Where is he? <laughs> oh, 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 come on, Frodo. Where be you going? Old Tom Bombadil's not as blind as that yet. Take off your golden ring. Your hand's more fair without it. Leave your game and sit down beside me. We must talk a while more and think about the morning. Tom must teach you the right road and keep your feet from wandering. The sun will shine tomorrow. Oh, I reckon it will, though I'm no weather master, and nor is aught that goes on two legs. Now you must sit here. I'll tell you the path to the east road by avoiding the barrows. You'll have to mind your own business. No meddling with old stone or cold whites unless you be strong folk with hearts that never falter. Though if you do stray near one of the barrows, you sing ho. Tom Bombadil, for our need is near us. <laughs> now you remember that. Remember that now. Ho, Tom, oh, Bombadil, Tom Bombadil, for oh, our need is near us. us. That's the words. You just sing that if, if by ill luck you fall into any danger tomorrow. <laughs> Old Mary now, sing for us, my lady. Sing. Oh, You've been listening to The Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien, adapted for radio by Bernard Mays, and featuring Ray Reinhardt as Bilbo Baggins, James Arrington as Frodo, Bernard Mays as Gandalf, Lou Bliss as Sam, Pat Franklin as Merry, Mac McCadden as Pippin, and Gail Chug as the narrator.